Hi guys and welcome to the Racing Divs video about BMW E60 M5. Today we're gonna explain what is the main and the most common problem with the differential in this particular model. We will explain you the problem itself, showcase what is the problem with this differential from the factory and from lack of proper maintenance and we will show you how to fix it to restore the performance of your BMW M5 to the original. In order to keep this video as short and informative as possible, we won't be showing in this video detailed installation procedure. Instead of that, you can check that on a separate video on this link. As I was saying, this particular model has the problem with the differential from the factory. So if you don't address this problem in time, you will most likely end up with completely destroyed bearings as this car has at the moment and the burned clutch plates so we at racing diffs made a complete rebuild kit to address those problems once and for all all parts used in this video are available in the description below To explain you what the fuzz is all about, we have the car on the lift. So the free play in the left uh, output flange is the well-known problem of this model as well as E92 M3, E46 M3 and so on. So you have this problem. And transferred to the rear wheel is this. You see how much uh, free play there is in this side before this side starts to move. So this is the amount of free play. What is happening with that and why is that a big problem? Because when this flange gets the free play, it is the axial and the radial free play. So in the radial free play, oil seal in the most cases gets destroyed. So you have the oil leak in this side. If you don't fill the oil, differential will lose uh, enough amount of oil to start whining noise from the bearings. So bearings can eventually get destroyed from this problem right here. So the free play in the flange directly impacts the well-being of bearings inside of this differential. And this is exactly what happened in this particular car. So you, you see how much oil there is on the aluminum cover. So this is the oil from this side right here. There is also oil on the exhaust system. Oil leaking destroyed all components inside the differential. So this is guys what, what I was talking about. This is the free play that came into the pinion gear due to complete breakdown of the bearings. So you can see it right here. If you want to skip this part from happening into your car, you need to take care of the free play in the left output flange to address that problem before this shit happens.
As we finished with the differential job, rebuilding it completely, it's now time to show you what we have done and to see before and after video of our results, how car behaves right now with the brand new differential. Again, all parts used in this video are available on our web shop and there are links in the description of this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And if you have any further questions regarding these type of differentials, don't be shy to drop a comment below. See you guys in the next video. You thought this was the end? You're wrong. Time to finish this video in the racing diff style.